Hi there guys, my name is Ovio from Ultra Remaps and today we're going to be test driving and reviewing this Porsche 911 C4S. I'm going to be telling you what I like about it and what I don't. So let's hit the road and see what's what. As you're probably aware already, the 4S shares a lot of components with a Porsche Turbo. We're talking stuff like suspension, brakes, and most importantly, the sashi. Aesthetics, we're looking front bumper, rear bumper, and the wider arches. Me personally, I prefer the back of the C4S. Um, I've always liked the rear reflector. Reminds me of Porsches of old, 993, 964, etc. But I think the back of this car is absolutely epic. The interior is quite basic. I mean, even for a 2002, this looks very classic inside. Um, what I do like about it, it's got the needles for the battery voltage. You got needles for oil pressure. Not necessarily needed, but now that we're going into the virtual era, sort of, you know, reminds me of an Apple Watch or a Rolex. You got the needles, I quite like it. It's distinctive. I'm a bit of a nerd, so when I look over there, I know it's a Porsche. And I, I quite like that. With the virtual dashes, I don't really have a clue. They're starting to look the same. Long panel across the dash, and every car's just copying every car. So I really do like this. You can really, really feel what the front wheels are doing. You can feel where you are on the road. This is a very tight lane, but I can feel where the car is. The initial turning is like nothing else I've ever driven. It's sublime. There's not a better term I can think of except they don't make them like this anymore. Silky smooth acceleration as you'd expect from a naturally aspirated engine. As <laughs> Silky smooth acceleration. The flat six noise is just intoxicating. It's not crazy loud, it's just it's just it's just right. It's just right. 320 bhp by modern day standards it doesn't sound like a lot you know you get hatchbacks that got more power than that but it's about how it feels it's got plenty of power for uk roads you can max one or two gears and stay within the speed limit it's plenty of power would i want more power yeah i'm only human we always want more do i need more power no no this is plenty this this is plenty brakes they work completely different than they do in any other car so in a normal car you'd hover over the brakes and you'd feel some friction you feel something happening here you don't and then you apply more pressure nothing happens and then you panic and you slam on the brakes every time i haven't driven a 911 for a while i'm adamant there's something wrong with the brakes but once you understand it's just the way of porsche doing its thing you learn how to use it and you love it you don't want the brakes to be like a switch on or off you want to have some control of how much brakes you want and I quite like that I genuinely believe that if you could blindfold me and put me in a Porsche 911 I'd know it's a 911 just because of the way Porsche does things it's different to any other manufacturer you know the engines over the rear axle you got that sound from the flat six and it sort of leads me on to my next point does a 911 have any rivals sure sure a porsche turbo or a gt2 or gt3 yes they have rivals due to their capabilities and price tag but a base model 911 does it have any rivals i mean what drives like this it's a completely different experience to any other car i've driven i've driven Lotus is, I've driven M3s, M5s, etc. I will be reviewing an E46 M3 in a few weeks' time. Legendary car of its era. Um, I've always loved E46 M3s, but is it the same as this? No. Are they a direct rival? I don't think so. I mean, I might change my opinion in a couple of weeks, but I don't think I will. This car is that good. I love the simplicity in here. You have one button to change the exhaust note and that's it. No nonsense to adjust the steering, 
wheel feel and throttle input and suspension input. I don't personally want to tinker with a car, I just want to drive it. I want it to feel the same on a Monday as it does on a Sunday. That's just my opinion personally. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's, it's just fantastic. This is everything I want in a car and then some. You know, it's a sports car with rare seats. You can flip the seats, put a suitcase in there. You've got a boot at the front. And then it handles like this. Absolutely amazing. Things I don't like about the car. I think the steering wheel could be a bit thicker. You get, you know, not enough grip on it. But then, I mean, when you've got a steering wheel that talks to you like this one does, it's the only downside I can find. Is a Porsche 911 C4S worth it over a base model? I believe it is because aesthetics are completely different. It's a completely different body and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's sort of like comparing a 3 Series to a BMW M3. It's different panels. The car looks different and I've always been a big admirer of the C4S. I know when the Porsche 996 first came out, people didn't like it due to the headlights, and due to some engine failures, or score, etc. But now, as a future classic, we've got to look at it a bit different. Is it a good car? I think it's a fantastic car. You can really feel every little bump on the road. It's, they just don't make cars like this anymore. It's, it's different. Now they're trying to take the feel away from us. They want it to glide, they want it to be smooth. And sometimes the imperfections what makes it perfect I mean is it a great daily car you could use it every day but I don't believe that Porsche out to make a daily car they set up to make a sports car a daily car and they've succeeded they've sold 911s over the generations in abundance so it can be used daily so to sum up it's a fantastic car obviously it's not as smooth as modern cars and the suspension stiff. If I'm nitpicking, the gears don't have that mechanical click and say so you get in the S2000 or RX-8. It's a very smooth gearbox, it just doesn't have that mechanical click. But as we know, manual cars are a dying breed, so let's just enjoy them while we can.